All right, so now we're going to introduce what's called a volumetric pipette. A volumetric pipette is another way that we can actually measure the volume, and the level of precision of a volumetric pipette is to two decimal places. So when using a volumetric pipette, okay, you need an apparatus, so we have what's called a pipette aid. We can use pipette bulbs, but they do the same thing. So what we're going to do is we already have our volume of our liquid, which in this case we're just doing water, already poured in a beaker. And so now we want to make sure the tip of the volumetric pipette is submerged in the liquid, otherwise what happens when you start to pull up the liquid, you start to get splattering in air bubbles, and we want to avoid that. Okay? And so we're going to place our pipette aid on the top of our volumetric pipette, but when we're doing this, we don't want to over force it onto it, right? We're just lightly putting it on to where it stops. Now how these pipette aids work is we turn the dial and as we can see, we have volume coming up into it. Now when doing this, we have to be careful because it goes through this thinner part of the pipette much faster than it does this thicker part. And so we want to always make sure we're avoiding pulling liquid up into the pipette aid because that ruins it. So now we just keep slowly turning the dial, allowing the liquid to come up as we turn it. Okay. And now every single one of these volumetric pipettes has a line on it. And this line is calibrated to be 25.00 milliliters. And so we want to pull up our liquid and we always pull it up a little bit above. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to allow it to come down to that final volume. So I'll pull it up above. Then we take our finger and we're placing it on top. And now what we want to do is we want to allow our liquid to flow out until we get the bottom of the meniscus right on that line. And hopefully I'm able to do this pretty good. Okay, just a little bit more. But that's okay, it happens. So if it happens where you go a little bit below, you just put the pipette A back on, pull it back up, and try it again. Oh, look at that. So we got it perfect, and now what we're going to do is what's in here, because we always kind of lose track. Sometimes it's, we think that we're just transferring it, but we're actually measuring the volume at this point. So when we brought it right to this line, it's 25.00 milliliters. But what we're going to do is we're going to compare the level of precision of this instrument compared to our graduated cylinder. So now we'll take our volume and we're going to pour it into the graduated cylinder. Okay. And when we're ready to dispense our volume, we just let go of our finger and we have it going into our graduated cylinder. And notice I'm touching the glass surface against the glass surface because it helps with the water to kind of just pull it through. So we're slowly letting it drain out. And now notice at the base of this, there's one last drop in it. And it's actually calibrated to keep that one last drop. We don't want to actually dispense that into our liquid. So now we're going to measure the volume in our graduate cylinder and compare the levels of precision to this. And we will be taking a picture and sending you um, the volume in the graduate cylinder so you are able to measure it. Thank you.